What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. So you guys reminded me yesterday that the S&P 500 doesn't open till Tuesday. Now that we have a new federal holiday, Juneteenth on the 19th, which I totally forgot about. So we're not going to be seeing these markets open for today, Sunday, as well as Monday. So it's going to be another three days before we see the S&P 500 decide to open up. As for the other cryptocurrencies, is the biggest thing that a lot of people are talking about right now is the fact that Bitcoin just broke through its $20,000 bottom currently at $19,000. This is not good, but we're in a very uh, interesting level here where honestly, it feels like not many people at all can really tell you where these markets are going. You know, it's highly unlikely we continue to slide lower. And the reasons are because indicators like, you know, the daily relative strength indicator are showing signs of extreme oversold. We're trending at 20 on the RSI, and I don't remember the last time we were at 20. Okay, here it is. The last time we were at 20 was January 22nd of 2022, and we had this major correction. Typically, we see markets reverse up. You can see it right here. We swing up. It's hard to gauge how low we're going to go before we swing up, though, and that's the problem. But typically, when we do have these bottoms that send us into extreme oversold, we tend to reverse. So the fact that we had this massive sell-off, the major correction, I think, of over 30% here, to 41 percent it's typically followed by reversal something like this now it's hard to gauge that and that's why i haven't been trading bitcoin and these other cryptos because it's very hard we did make a very profitable short off this when we broke through the sideways consolidation you these usually have very big amounts of volume that follow it whether it's to the upside or the downside we don't know but either volume enters and we swing up or volume leaves and we drop down and since we confirmed breaking through our price floor we knew to buy in for a short so we're we've made plenty of money i've made plenty of money off these short positions on pretty much all the major altcoins and cryptocurrencies so right now i have been playing it kind of safe on the safe side conservative and just letting these markets play out because we don't know where they're going to go we could very easily continue to dump lower because that's how the markets have been acting. You can even see the daily is now extreme oversold, or sorry, the weekly is extremely oversold, trending at 24 on the RSI. I don't think there was a time, you know, in the, I haven't changed my RSI patterns here. We have never hit oversold at this level before. This is new for Bitcoin. This is a new level we haven't seen. The lowest points were 2018. The lowest points were, you know, uh, what is this 2020 here we have yet to actually dump this low before so it's hard to believe we're going to continue to dump lower like what's the lowest point five grand are we really going to just reset back to that it's hard to gauge the lowest points that we see here and it's very scary especially how this interacts with the other cryptos and all coins like ethereum and xrp so we're going to try to talk about all this later on in today's video otherwise today's video is brought to us by uh, qp as you guys can see here qp is a way to pay save exchange and invest in one place you can link all your accounts to a single dashboard convert funds between digital and fiat and manage money in multiple currencies which is cool and it's one place to track all your finances so it's a great way to merge traditional and digital currencies together more information about qp will be at the end of today's video so stay tuned for that otherwise definitely make sure to smash the like button turn up those notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so as you guys can see the markets are getting brutally attacked right now we're now at 846 billion from what was once uh three trillion dollars now at 800 46. You can see here that most of the markets have sold off about 70%, down 33% in the past week. And Bitcoin is now down 8% over the day. And we're down to $19,000. Ethereum is at a thousand bucks. It's incredible to see this. We have XRP trading at 30 cents. I feel like XRP hasn't been hit as hard. Uh, we've definitely fallen though. Um, but it's still, it's just incredible to see how much has been liquidated. No, we've definitely fallen pretty darn hard. I, I take that back, especially when you take it from the top here we've definitely seen a major sell-off down 84 percent oh it's so bad all these cryptocurrencies are really just 
Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to zero. It's unlikely that we go to zero, considering the fact that most of these cryptocurrencies have shown, you know, historically to reverse off and getting closer to uh, the Bitcoin halving, which is at the end of 2023 into maybe mid 2024 here. But everything is getting sold off. Everything is dumping to this day. Ship is now trading at number 16. Doge still at number 10 here. But uh, it's not looking good for cryptos. It's definitely not looking good for cryptos. And unfortunately here, we're in another predicament again with XRP where there's a big chance of a sell-off to come and there's a big chance we're going to reverse lower granted we are oversold on the daily and oversold on the weekly because we're not outside this major descending fractal yet it gives us major signs of you know dumpage again major dumpage again so until we break through our massive resistance which has been forming since uh, march 30th we've had all uh, the rest of uh april may and june so we've had all uh the beginning of march no the end of march April, May, and here we are in June, <clears throat> consolidating sideways today, the past couple of days here, but getting very close to retesting this resistance, which typically causes a dump, as we've seen, very similar to Bitcoin, which consolidated and dumped lower. So, I mean, it's there's not much to talk about. It's very difficult. There's not much to talk about within these cryptos. You know, I if you're getting information from other people, I'd be very weary of trying to trade these markets. More so, it's just more corrections to come until we prove otherwise until we see things like xrp swing us above this major resistance here we're going to continue to scale lower bitcoin and sorry xrp and bitcoin are going to continue to scale lower we need to confirm breaking above this resistance and more so above these major resistances here you know so if we break through the downtrend it at least is showing signs of a potential recovery which is what we expect because these do have a bullish you know bias here at some point a bullish breakout uh that's the bias that goes along with these descending channels here but it's going to take some time same thing with ethereum bitcoin and ethereum are, and xrp are all you know falling stagnant i did want to like tweak the ethereum chart here i know it's difficult but something like this it's it's hard to gauge this but the way we've been trending the past couple of days on the support here makes me think i had the chart uh slightly wrong so i'm just tweaking this a little bit here so that it looks a little more symmetrical inside some sort of descending fractal here and i think this looks about right here so we are retesting the bottom bitcoin's trading right you know dead center in the middle which is not a good sign here but um it's hit or miss now. We just kind of have to let these markets play out and give us signs of potential reversal and recovery here. So until I see confirmation above XRP's downtrend here and Ethereum above this resistance here, there's no reason to trade this. And with the S&P 500, it's a similar thing. Everything has been shook. Everything is extremely oversold. Everything got liquidated out. All that new money that got put into the stock market has been sucked right out by a lot of people here. And we're all down quite a bit. I don't even want to look because I'm probably down 20 two percent something along those lines here but um that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video i do want to talk more about qp with you though I want to give a huge shout out to QP for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. As you guys all know, time is the most expensive thing every one of us possesses today. Time means money and time spent managing funds should be well managed in terms of efficiency and regularity. Your everyday financial needs occupy a significant amount of time, and this is where QP comes in. The QP team has developed a digital all-in-one payment solution for all types of operations with traditional and digital assets. Now, QP was founded in 2017 by a group of recognized European professionals in banking, financial, and IT spheres. The company founders have previously been working together and have already realized several successful e-commerce and financial projects prior to starting QP. After their successful launch and development of their unique payment ecosystem, they have officially launched their app for download. The QP app can be used to buy and sell crypto assets and even make payments. IBAN account supports the SEPA replenishment system and all transactions comply with safety standards. Now, individuals can use the QP wallet within the app to store multi-currencies on the crypto wallet, as well as with unique cross-platform applications. Now, it houses advanced crypto portals that will help both corporate and private clients to integrate traditional banking services into the crypto world. Crazy enough, QP is gaining popularity in the USA, Europe, and CIS countries with more than 100,000 downloads. The QP app currently supports euros, British pounds, USD, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, USDT, and other currencies. The QP wallet application can be downloaded for free on the App Store as well as the Google Play Store. And every client from all around the world can open several multi-currency IBAN accounts for free in euros and British pounds and use them 
for any kind of transfers, payments, and exchange operations within SEPA regions. Now, an unlimited number of digital wallets in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ethereum can also be opened inside the QP app. Now, QP Wallet does not set up the obligatory minimum or maximum transaction amount in euros and British pounds, and fees or commissions are even low, and all the outbound transactions in euros and British pounds are free of charge. QP Wallet only sets up a fee for inbound transactions that are constantly being reduced for client comfort. Now, all the operations with digital currencies are not charged with any fees. Now, lastly, QP is now launching a revolutionary banking card for both on and offline payments. So guys, make sure to check out QP and their app with the links down in the description. And with that being said, huge shout out to QP for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.